In the last video, I unboxed the Poseidon Redwood flat bar. And as I stated in the last video, the big reason I was intrigued by this bike was because of its potential as a commuter bike. While I have been riding it around with a backpack, I did intend on eventually getting a front basket for it. In this video, I received the Neato M18 and Swift Industries Sugarloaf and give you an idea of how everything rides. But first, a trip to Ace. To install the Neato M18, I needed to purchase a bolt that would hold the rack to the fork crown. Later that day, I unboxed the rack. So there we have it, the Neato M18 all set up. The sugar loaf will be here I think tomorrow or the next day, so I'm just going to test it out with an old Cadence Trekker bag that I have, it's kind of what I used to do with the Rove when it had the basket on there. And yeah, oh I forgot to mention, the Poseidon, if you haven't seen the Poseidon video, does have an aluminum fork, not a carbon fork. It looks like a carbon fork, but uh, yeah, it's aluminum, so definitely safe to carry. A load and uh, like I said I think the needle rack can carry 40 pounds which I, I think the heaviest load I'll probably put on this is 20-25 pounds but that's about it tomorrow I will take it out for the first commute and see how it rides I think this looks great it looks minimal simple and the Poseidon I mean it just fits So first day commuting with the basket. Just have like a little sling bag in there with a net. I forgot how much a basket kind of pulls you. Once you get momentum, it feels like you're being pulled, which is kind of encouraging on the bike. Feels pretty solid. Again, handling is a little bit compromised. It's also slightly chillier than I expected it to be this morning. So the backpack warmth is kind of missing. But I am getting a nice distribution of airflow to my back. We got quite a bit of moisture in Colorado Springs yesterday. You see pikes back there, snow covered. Yeah, it's getting colder. The next day, I got to test the rack with the Swift Industry Sugarloaf. The bag seems very solid in build quality and has a decent amount of organization for my needs when traveling with just a basket bag. I just stopped on today's commute. Show you guys the bike. And this is so clean how the Garmin fits there not the seat post. We'll see if it still works. I'm gonna get a fender here. Um, one of the wind wings. And then ended up mounting this, the Flash 300. It's a specialized light that I got sent. Down there, that works great. But yeah, this is the bag. Super solid, fits in there real nice. Sometimes it feels like it's gonna pop out. I could strap it down. But I don't know. I don't think my commute is worthy of the strap. Maybe I'm wrong and it'll fly out one day. So I've been commuting with the basket for a few days now, and I really do enjoy it. It's just not a fix-all solution for me because, well, the capacity is not all there. So I know in the middle of winter, I won't be able to get away with just the basket bag. 
But well, just like I said two videos ago, I don't think that there's always one solution or one side of things. So I think I can run the basket when I want to. And when the load is lighter, like right now I'm commuting in my shoes that I'll work in, but definitely when the weather changes, I might throw a backpack on. This might help me get some weight off the back though, being able to throw some extra clothes in this. Howdy. So I think bicycles can change and they do change. And you just have to be okay with that and kind of embrace that fact. A lot of people look for a one, one thing to fix it all when it comes to bikes or one setup. I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing to do. The nice thing about bicycles is that you can change them. Thank you guys for commenting on that backpack video. So many people shared their different setups and it just goes to show one setup can't do it all. Really is subjective and what the rider likes to do. So you could have the best bike kitted with racks, but if somebody doesn't like racks, then they're just gonna rock a backpack. But it was nice to see so many different setups and what you guys use to commute with. Alright, gonna wrap this video up here. Nito M18, surprisingly stable for the tiny little powerhouse of rack. I could see why it has such a big following and people just like it. And the Zwift Sugarloaf, excellent choice for a little walled 137 basket. See you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for a bike check on the Poseidon and thank you for subscribing.